Charlottetown, 1864. Is it the cradle of our country, or is that just a gimmick? To answer that, we really have to answer the question, what happened in Charlottetown, and why is it important? Well, what happens easy if you leave out a lot of the details? In September 1864, there was a conference about maritime union. Now, the maritime colonies in British America weren't that interested in maritime union, but the colonial office was interested in their having a chat about it, and so they were willing to talk. What turned that event into something really important was the presence as observers of the Canadians. And they had a good reason to come down. The Canadians, what we now know as Ontario and Quebec, were locked in a legislative union, and it wasn't working for them. They wanted to end the relationship or transform it into something larger. And so they asked to come to Charlottetown. They asked to come as observers. And because the Maritimers weren't really interested in the topic of the conference, they said, hey, what have you got to offer? And so they met for a week. They talked, they argued, they laughed, they made alliances and friendships. They ate and ate and ate. And at the end of the week, they agreed in principle to a union of the colonies, a confederation of colonies. If satisfactory terms could be worked out. Now that took three more years, but Confederation did come about and it changed the course of Canadian history. Everything flows from that. But Confederation is not just an event. It was a process and it's a relationship. And it's an ongoing, fractious, exciting, dynamic, frustrating relationship. A relationship that began in 1864 in Charlottetown. That's why it matters.